Hey everyone, I'm back. It's been a while as you may know, but I'm going to be back in the swing of doing YouTube videos and I thought the best place to start would be a life update video. People do them, but I'm also going to combine this with like a PO box video. So yeah. So in terms of life update things, I have been taking a break from YouTube, I guess. People do things because of many reasons. They do them because they have purpose or they don't do them because they don't have purpose or they try and pick up habits in the new year because they see other people doing them or they're deemed good or they just feel like they should or they're pressured and similar things have happened with me doing YouTube like I sort of felt like I had to do YouTube videos because cosplayers do videos and they film conventions and they help people with tutorials like every week or twice a week or whatever so I, like, I it wasn't that I didn't have purpose but it was finding other more meaningful aspects of my life and also just working on various other things like mental health and finding myself as a person and working on my career and working on my spirituality and relationships and just stabilizing all of that before I could commit to doing anything extra like just doing the bare minimum well and then deciding to take up on extra projects so I guess that's what I'm trying to say is I had to brew on it why I wanted to do YouTube was it the right thing for me uh, why am I not editing videos? Something's up there. So I had to sort of come back and reflect and I did that with like loads of different things in my life, career and all that. So yeah. And also I bought a tripod for my phone because when you do auditions and self tapes kind of is essential. So I now film on my phone. My camera had an accident. Um, Kane dropped it. The lens broke. Film on my phone now, which actually is pretty good and it will encourage me to vlog when I'm out more so you never know you might get weak in the lives or I don't know I'm gonna get my script because I'm ranting I script myself so I was saying about self-discovery and just creative industry stuff and I just thought if you don't know me I'll share a bit about me I'm Annalise McGuire I do modeling full-time I'm an actress and a cosplayer as well as that, I also do uh, teaching part-time. I got a university degree two years ago, but then was like, this is good, but I feel like I've done this because I felt like I needed to. Not that I don't love teaching, teaching's great. Love it, it's part of my life, has to be, but I was like, I'm, I've gotten this degree because I feel like I have to, and like, uh, you know, you get a degree, you're smart, you are a successful young adult. So I was like, no, I need to, do acting because I've always actually wanted to do this. I just didn't think it was a smart choice or it wasn't like what smart people do. Smart people don't do modeling. I think I've made a video on this. But yeah, last year, since I've probably done my last update on life, I've made new costumes in terms of cosplay. I've worked on a film. I did my first ever lead role and I will leave the trailer below on like Vimeo. I'll keep you updated on that when it comes out. Um, I've been active on social media a lot more, but also monitoring my usage and how I utilize it as a professional. So yeah, I still do acting. I've been taking that more seriously. I'm learning a script today. I'm getting in the habit of talking out loud in my bedroom while filming a YouTube video. So I think this is a very productive task. I don't know how I should take up the frame in this video either. And yeah, I also went to Bali. I was picked as one of, I think it ended up being 27 because they released a couple of like wild card entries. So I was one of the 27 models um, selected to go and represent Australia in Bali and I didn't place but I'm not even fussed. Like I got a fully covered trip to Bali. We got days of personal development training. I met incredible people. I've uploaded one video from Bali but I just didn't feel like editing, despite we got we got like points for doing social media, I just wanted to absorb as much of like the experience in the moment and connect with people who are like-minded in the moment that I feel like that's where I got the most value from the trip. Plus, I am now an international model. That's my development in the past two months of 2020, like it's all kicking off I think. Vlogs from Bali are coming soon. I don't know how many there'll be. There'll just be a couple. I just thought it would be common courtesy to share with the internet what I did and sort of for keepsakes. I like doing keepsake, like travel things. 
I'm gonna unbox this. I have a PO box, no pressure to send it, anything in. Um, I did the last sort of crafty thing that I got sent. Some, uh, like, a beautiful girl, she made like a Barbie doll of one of my cosplays, but it was like an OC, so it was so, so thoughtful. But I received some art, I think. I think it's art. It's from Damien. I'm just gonna struggle to unbox this. But yeah, if you want to send things in, I do have it. I mostly have it for business purposes because I run an Etsy and I don't really want my own address to be on Etsy, but it makes my day when people send me actual things and I feel like I need to thank them like so they can see my reaction kind of thing. So I'm not doing this sort of thing to be like, oh, please send me stuff. I'm so renowned. I'm just trying to show people that it genuinely means a lot and I'm going to take the time to show you that it means Christmas for me. Oh my goodness, this is from Damien, I will link his Instagram below. He's got a YouTube channel and I'll put it here. He made comics of my Harley Quinn costume, he painted them. He's left his Instagrams and his the date that he did them, he did them at the beginning of February. And I, is this an actual comic? Did he actually attach an actual comic? He's left his Instagram all over it, so, and he's signed it. Mate, this is incredible. It's an actual comic, are you, are you kidding me? That's incredible, are you kidding me? Wow, thank you so much. Are you kidding? He sent me an actual comic with my face on it, and he's painted it, and I am just, I hope I was it. I'm gonna put these back in the packaging. I just realized it's a bit um, sacred to take comics out of their packaging. But I'm gonna read them. I'm gonna open the other one. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And another con. This is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are such a kind human, and this means the world to me. Wow. <laughs> my day is made. Sorry it took so long to open these, I was just getting my brain together. I'm going to put them back in very carefully and shout out your Instagram on my Instagram now, but yeah, cool, thanks. Anyway, that's been my life update and a little PO box opening. Um, thank you Damien and thank you everyone for your continued support. I started YouTube um, nine years ago, 2011, you can go back and watch the really cringy videos, also in well, I filmed in a different house, but I'm still the same kind of person. I started YouTube once, and then that got me into being comfortable in front of a camera. That got me into cosplay, and it led me to meet amazing people online. It led me to have a career in this thing. Like, cosplay gave me a modeling career, and that's just incredible. In, like, the society we live in today, that hobbies can then lead to finding true passions and actually doing adulting with that so that's good cool be motivated people there's 24 hours in a day 16 of those you're awake um do as you will with them and i will see you in my next video no pressure to do good things with your day okay oh hello hello being using my mouth and face to do things which I should be good at, not.